Good evening. I'm here working on a General Electric G50 model radio. It's a teledial type radio. And basically that means the dial is, you know, looks kind of like an old telephone dial. Um, because this is such an unusual set, I wanted to document how I was going to work on the teledial mechanism in particular for other people who might be dealing with the same kind of radio. Um, there, it does present a couple of problems that I think are worth noting. So the way this would work is you've got the teledial over this part here and then that's on the the ax, actual of the uh, tuning capacitor. So you'd move this dial and you could manually tune the station or you could push in one of these buttons and then bring this down to the bottom and that would take you right to a preset station and that's what this part is here. This is the, the presets. So you can see there's a bunch of little um, parts on the back with these little nubs on them that stick out a bit and when you push one of these in that would move forward a little bit and what happens is when this is on here you move that down and when it's forward the little knob is the uh, the little projected part is forward just enough to hit this gate right there and lock it into place and then you'd release the button and it would bounce back up so that you could move this again like that um, so a couple problems working on this this gate mechanism here See that moves like that. This one is, it's rusted on the axis, so I'm gonna to have to free that up a bit for that to work. And the main problem is this part itself, this is all pop metal, which is just, if you've worked with it before, it does not age well. It expands, um, it cracks. I guess a lot, on, a lot of uh, G50s like this, these projection parts are just busted off all uh, all together. Mine looks pretty intact and that's good but a um, couple problems is on the axle part here, the part that you know screws onto this so that you can tune it, there's some cracks down in there so I'm gonna have to be careful screwing that back on. And then these things here, I'm gonna have to be careful when I'm working with these. I'm gonna take this whole mechanism apart take it apart, really lube it up, uh, oil it up, and um, there's some springs in here that I need to have a look at. But these things have expanded. These should just come, I removed one of these lock rings, and this should just kind of come out, but when I get about this far, it's kind of stuck. So I'm gonna have to be careful, extra careful with these. Um, and uh, that's it for now. I'm gonna try to get this apart. I put some oil on it, let it soak a bit, and then I'm gonna going to get this apart and uh, we'll see what we have when we get there. So as far as this uh, gate mechanism on the GE Teledial, uh, this this uh, gate over here was real tight. You could push this down and it would just stay there, whereas this one just free-flowing like that. So what I wound up doing was I drilled out the rivet that was over here and I used some sandpaper to kind of sand in between the gate and this tab here a little bit and then I used a, a nut and bolt to put that back in and uh, a little bit of oil and now it springs like it should. So that's good. And uh, over here with this I got most of the these tabs, these um, parts on the back here, I got most of those out. These two are really stuck in there. And being pop metal, I didn't want to bang away at it too hard. Um, so these, I think I'm gonna get, just kind of push them back in and leave them in place. They'll be permanently stuck wherever they are. And then the other ones, I got the inner part out. Looks like this here, okay? And then there's this inner sleeve Right there, one of those came out. Looks like this, this goes in here. This is the part that's on the spring that 
bounces in and out when you when you push the button in. Um, the other ones are kind of stuck in there. I'm gonna try and get those out, and um, then I'm gonna maybe lightly sand around the outside of these so that they will then uh, bounce in and out the way they should. Because these are just these are stuck in in here. They don't bounce out or push down one or the other. And once I do that, then I'll um, I might have to do the kind of the same with these, so these move freely inside those, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I got back to work on the G50 teledial mechanism, and uh, what I've done is I got all of the button pieces out except for these two. They were just too stuck in there, and I didn't want to uh, didn't want to force them, so they're just kind of stuck in place. But the other ones I was able to get out. And uh, looks, you got these two pieces that fit together, like so. And there's a lock nut that goes on there. But um, so what I what, once I got those out, I actually drilled the back side of these holes um, so that there was space for this part to to fit in. It comes in from the other way, but when it because that was tight in there, so that is now free. And then this on the, the front part, these are two different radiuses, the top and the bottom in there. You can see here, right, two different radiuses. So I used a file and I filed out the inside of this radius a little more so that this piece would fit in and not be so, they were really snug in there. But now there's a lot more um, space for them to move. And then these, which fit and the inside of those, okay, um, I filed around the outside of, of this part here that goes in to that, okay, it goes the other way, but you get the idea. So now those uh, move freely as well. What happens is when you unscrew that lock nut, this moves um, side to side like that when it's in the tuning trap and lets you fine tune the preset on the teledial mechanism. So what I'm going to do now, I've got my springs out as well. Those are the ones that go inside there. I pulled them a little bit to give them a little extra strength. There's really not much to these at all. Um, but I'm going to put it back together and I'm going to use some silicone grease on the inside of these so that the buttons don't get stuck when you push them down so that they'll bounce back a little more with the spring. And once I do that, the whole thing will get back on the radio here. Uh, which I've recapped and tested all the tubes and take care of all that. The radio functions now. Um, so I'll get that back together and then hopefully we'll be able to test out the teledial mechanism. Okay, I've got the, um, I put the teledial mechanism back together and it, it went pretty good overall. Um, I put some, just FYI, I put a little silicone grease, which is really, really slippery stuff. Because some of these buttons were still getting kind of stuck when you put them down, but now most of them just bounce right back up. Even that one that I kind of broke the edge there, that one working okay. This, you know, they're all. Let's see if I can find a real good one here. This one is like that. So the way this works, I've got it on, and uh, you know, if you just turn the thing. You turn that you change the station, but the way the teledial works, so you push a button. This is one of your presets. You push that in, and that moves that in a bit. And then as it comes down, it's going to hit that little gate there. I don't know if you can really see that. Let's try and do it again. See, ordinarily it would just go right by, but when it's pushed in, hits the gate, and it gets trapped in there. Okay. Try another one here. Uh, this one. Push that in, and then right in the gate. Okay, and then when you push it out, it moves again. And that's it. So the next thing I'm going to do is just put this back together, and uh, the radio will be complete. This is one of those radios you wonder if you're ever going to see the end of it. But um, <clears throat> so the next video will show it all together. Um, be careful when you're working on this teledial thing. This is pot metal. I mean, I could have started taking this thing apart and the whole thing could have just crumbled. I mean, it's not fun to work with, but, um, you know, 
um, I, I, I thought that I had a way to do it, and, and it worked out pretty well for the most part. A couple of the buttons I wasn't able to free up. You know, I broke a piece here and, and there. You know, something else would break, but for the most part, it stayed together. You just got to be careful, and if you think you're gonna, it's gonna break, then just stop and uh, put the thing back together, and you'll still have a working radio. So uh, next time you see it, it'll be all together. Okay, I'm I'm uh, done servicing the General Electric G50 Teledial radio, and um, it's been recapped, and the tubes have been tested and all that, and the cabinet. You know, I just kind of cleaned it up a little. I didn't go nuts with it. I don't like to strip and refinish the cabinet if I can help it. Uh, I do prefer an original finish. But anyway, I want to show you the Teledial mechanism. So it's all back together. And what we, you would do is, even though you can kind of turn the dial this way and adjust it manually, you can also push in the button, move it down to the bottom, and that gets you down to your preset. Once you get down to the bottom and you let go, you can move the dial again and, and fine tune it if you had to. So, I mean, it's kind of neat. I mean, you push it in and it goes down. It's, it's simple. Um, and uh, the service manual, and I'm sure the instructions that the owner would have gotten tell you how to adjust these and it's really not that difficult assuming that you know uh, it's in good shape which of course it would be when it was new um, but uh, I mean long story short you take this this off here and take the ring off and then there are some lock nuts on each one of these so you'd, you'd get the button you know the button you wanted to set you'd get that down at the bottom and you'd loosen up that lock nut and then you could uh, that would move the little tab on the back and you could adjust it to where you had it and then you tighten down that lock nut and it would be where it's supposed to be. But anyway, it was a neat project to work on and uh, maybe someday this the video will help out someone else who's working on one of these, but um, that's it.